Okay, so the day has come. It's time for you to get a new camera. So the camera I had before was the Canon Rebel EOS T5i. Now, we're gonna upgrade a different camera. This is the third time going in here because we thought about it a lot. We talked to the guy last time and Exciting. let's go. <laughs> Okay, so here it is, the Canon R. Yay. So first thing it comes with the Canon US like sheet, EOS, but this is like the manual. So the charging thing, battery, charger. But it's a lot different than my other one. My last camera was the T5i, it's the EOS Rebel. So it comes with this, I don't even know. Oh, well, that's cool. Oh, if you put your camera, it's for your lens. Maybe, maybe that is the one. No. Strap, there's the body. She's so big. The screen is so much bigger too. We got the lens. I feel like a kid on Christmas. Charger, battery, charging cable, and then the manual. This is my first time having like a mirrorless camera. So my other one had a mirror in it, which I didn't even know. You'd think I know, but I didn't even know they switched. Yeah. Oh my gosh, <laughs> look at us! Battery pack. Haha. <laughs> Very Definitely. New thing. Just plug this in. Okay, so I got it charging. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for it to charge a little bit and then I'll be back and we're gonna like do like, some test shots. A little bit later. Okay, so I got the camera all charged, and we're gonna go take some photos, and then I'm gonna put on the screen so we can see what they look like. It looks like this. So let's go take some photos. from a Canon EOS or Canon Rebel EOS T5i to the Canon R. This one is definitely an upgrade and definitely a change for me. So I'm used to shooting on portrait mode, which I have a photography page. Probably isn't the best thing. Obviously portrait mode on like EOS and stuff is when the settings is kind of like set up for you and the kind of the camera does the job rather than manual mode, which is what this camera is on, which is a lot of messing with shutter speeds, AF, or apertures, f-stops, iOS, all that kind of stuff, which is new for me, which is good that I'm getting into it, but it's definitely going to take a lot of getting used to and messing with, which this camera does, which is good for like, future photography stuff, but 